Hello. In today's video, we are diving into the world of free-to-play horror games on Steam. I played 10 games and rated them from 1 to 10. On place 10, we have a Creepy Waves FM box fixer. The game follows the story of a young boy who applies for a job in a large AAA game development company. He starts working night shifts during a probationary period where he experiences strange and unsettling events that spiral into a psychological thriller. The player's choices throughout the game impact the storyline, allowing for different outcomes based on the decisions made in tense moments. Gameplay involves interacting with characters, affixing bugs and prototype games. The game combines elements of atmospheric storytelling with first-person exploration, making it a slow a burn horror experience. What is going on? Slow, slow, slow. No, 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 why is... what? Choo. 60 minutes for that. Eastwood Carnival is a horror game of the Retropis X aesthetic, created by a young developer still in middle school. The game takes players to an abandoned carnival after the car runs out of gas. What? We didn't find gas, but we landed here. What is this? R red light? Oh my gosh, what is this? Red light is dangerous. Though it might have some rough edges, Eastwood Carnival offers a unique and nostalgic horror experience that has garnered a positive feedback for its atmosphere and originality. I think that's a chill game, Ari. Blackout Director's Cut is a pixel art horror game and offers a retro inspired experience. The game emphasizes a moody, atmospheric journey with puzzle platforming mechanics and multiple endings. It uses a mix of flashing lights, sound effects and unsettling visuals to heighten the tension, offering a short but intense 30 plus minute experience. Wait, the bed. Wait, what? Ah, no, 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 no,
Shadow of Pharos is a first-person horror game that offers a short but immersive experience. Players encountering various creepy elements while trying to uncover hidden secrets. I woke up to the sound of the TV static. It must have passed out on the couch again. As I got up and to sleep in the guest room, the news report came up on the TV. I went to the guest room to sleep. However, some players might find its lunch and absence of a deeper narrative unsatisfying. Horror A Family Flight is a psychological horror game set in a confined environment of an airplane. The game follows a time loop mechanic where the protagonist, Mitsuko Nakamura, experiences a series of unsettling events after falling asleep on a flight returning from a business trip. The game is known for its retro 90s aesthetic, walking simulators mechanic and looping narrative structure, making it stand out as a unique horror experience.東京都八王子市の一軒家から一家五人が殺害されているのが見つかりました。警察によりますと、遺体は大きく損傷しており。No. Krypta FM is a first-person horror adventure game set in the fictional village of Gozdari, Poland, during the early 21st century. The story revolves around solving the mystery of a cryptid-like creature that is ter terrorizing the local residents. Players must explore the village, gathering clues from the surroundings, and listen to the broadcast on the radio station Krypta FM, where callers provide hints and information to help solve the case. Ah. The game features retro-inspired graphics, reminds of early PlayStation games and offers an atmospheric experience with a focus on exploration, investigations and unrelenting paranormal events. Clap Clap is an indie horror game released in June. This short atmospheric game places a player in the role of a house sitter who experiences strange events. It is a first person psychological horror game with a retro aesthetic environment. 
The gameplay, which takes about 20 to 30 minutes to complete, involves explorations, solving light puzzles and uncovering the mystery behind happenings in the house. Players can expect a few jump scares and a creepy, unsettling atmosphere throughout the experience. It has also several achievements and a hidden secret ending. Sorry. How to kill a house sitter. Wait! Why you have a house? A, a room where you say do not enter. Phantom a Watcher is a horror strategy mm -hmm. game set in a haunted hospital. Players must survive encounters while unraveling wow. the mysterious of the oh, ghostly wow. presence within the building. That looks insane. The game features a unique CRT aesthetic, adding a retro, unsettling vibe to the experience. Each playthrough introduces new challenges, keeping the gameplay fresh with randomized elements. It's a single-player, a first-person exploration game where logic, investigation and a strategic decision matter greatly. Okay, there are floating objects, there is a ghost. <laughs> Okay, now we're looking again. Oh, she said, Do you see something? Okay, we heard something. Indigo Park is a first-person horror game that invites players to explore and restore an abandoned amusement park filled with unsettling secrets. As you navigate through this creepy environment, you are guided by a Ramley the Raccoon, an AI-driven mascot who Ramley. offers assistance and commentary. And it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is, 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 is registered. While a Ramley oh, appears gotcha. friendly Indigo and park. helpful, players must remain cautious, as the park is also inhibited by a sinister entity that threatens your safety. Uh oh, the door mysteriously locked. Oh look, it's Molly the car. Sure, Armal. Why, you only crash into six bars this week. I'm not crashing, Ramley. I'm barnstorming. <laughs> What's barnstorming? It's crashing with style. Oh, Lord. It barely hurts at all. Say, those young adventures you got along with you look like great pilots. Why not try your hand at flying in my ride? Ha 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 ha. Admission included, we can critter count. <laughs> This what the fuck? That's not cool, that's not cool, that's not cool, that's not cool. 
Where do I have to go? Scheiße! Oh my gosh! I think we're dead. <laughs> Baby Blue's Nightmare is a unique survival horror game where players assume the role of a toddler navigating a chilling child care facility. The game offers a mix of stealth and adventure, as you must use your wits and your trusted tricycle to evade horrifying creatures lurking in the shadows. You will encounter unsettling toys and must manage your noise levels, stepping on squeaky toys can alert nearby monsters. You are all dirty minded. The narrative unfolds in an immersive atmosphere, combining childhood innocence with terrifying elements, dog. offering a fresh perspective in the horror genre. Holy sh! This is free to play, by the way. Yeah, I'm not leaving this thing anymore. Stop. This game has something though. I hope you liked the games. Let me know in the commentary which one you liked most or if you would rank something different. Have a great week guys.